up with you as usual. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <clears throat> Long enough as it is, Mr. Stock, let's not belabor it. Once again, it is uh, my, my sworn duty to announce to you no longer Mr. Folk. I always used to say Mr. Folk, Mike Stock, but I see here in the paper, this Thursday's paper, past Thursday's paper, whatever. I I'm waiting for the introduction, go. Alan. A week ago. <laughs> Folk Music Crusader. Yes, read it and weep. It's right here in the paper. Folk Music Crusader, Michael Stock. Thank you, Alan. Uh, well, clap for yourself, Mr. Stock. Nobody else has done it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to New Traditions. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, Alan, I was in a groove there. I enjoyed playing that theme song. And when I ask for an oh, introduction, gosh. I want an introduction. That theme not song. <clears throat> anyway, welcome Just to New stick Traditions. Stick to a melody and uh, you know, something we can follow. Thank you for I joining us. Mm. Shut up, Mr. Poe. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here on New Traditions. And uh, on this program, we feature uh, talent here from South Florida. Uh, people who talent in anything, whether it be music or poetry or writing, and uh, we'd like to feature them on new traditions, something traditional, something in the traditional way, but yet new, something original. And we ask the guests to perform something new uh, on the show that they have wrote, something original. My co-host uh, currently is Mr. Edgar Allan Poe the fourth. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Poe. Yeah, you've got to you. control yourself a little bit more. We're trying to keep the flow of the show going, and you're you're kind of getting out of I'm hand at flow. times. I'm I'm, uh, I'm grooving along here. Okay, I'm, well that's debatable. I'm, I'm cool. And today's guest on the program is Mr. Grant Livingston. Hello, Grant. Hello, Michael. How are you doing? Good, and welcome. Grant is a uh, songwriter and singer, and he's special. He is in Florida folk songs. And my other guest is Denise London. And uh, I personally, Denise, I'm sorry, I don't know you. You suggested a Mr. Poe, so there's a lot of pressure on you. Because <laughs> uh, Mr. Poe's taste has been questionable in the past. Uh -oh. <laughs> so uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's get to our uh, segment here. We ask, uh, well, our T-shirts, OK? T -shirts, Every show t -shirts. we wear T-shirts. Mm. And we ask, uh, we show you our T-shirts, and we ask you to send your T-shirts in. The shirt I'm wearing today is called Swords into Plowshares. The, uh, you can get a close, can you get a close up there? Well, that's, I'm not asking too much. Well, okay, well, that's my good. shirt. Swords of the Plowshares, Songs of Freedom and Struggle. And this is actually a group out of Philadelphia. And it's, uh, a, there's so many folk groups in Philadelphia going on that this is a specialized group doing uh, political songs. So it's, 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 that's what I like about it. And uh, so it's not locals from Philadelphia. I was running out of T-shirts. But I'll tell you how you could send in your T-shirt. Alan, what, what is your shirt? Well, my shirt's not local either, Mr. Stock. I don't really know if I go for this local business. I think it's a good T-shirt. It's a good T-shirt. And this is certainly a great one for the moment. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen a month from now when this show actually airs. Obviously, we tape these things. Well, it won't be a whole month. It'll be a couple of weeks. Right. This Whatever. Is the first one. Yeah. But um, the Orioles are in first place right now as I speak. And they're handily in first place. Uh, they're cruising along. They are really in the flow. I'll have to take your word for them because I can't care less. I don't care less. Well, let me keep you up to get, get a little do a sports report here. Uh, the Pistons won the basketball championship. You aware of that? I watched that on TV. Well, okay. So you know something. Now, one thing I didn't watch, I'm totally ignorant of, but on purpose, one thing I can't stand is the. This idea of paying $45 to see a boxing match. I mean, it seems to me that these things, like the Super Bowl, it should be free. When are we, free, when are we going to have to start paying to see the Super Bowl? Right. Ridiculous. I, that so, was on cable. I didn't yeah. see it either. I, I boycotted it. But one thing I will do is watch it on television. When it comes up on regular TV in a couple of weeks, I'll be watching it. And purposely, I avoided any media. I have no idea who won. I didn't watch it. didn't read the paper the next day or the day after. And... You know, for me, it's always kind of fun to, to bet on these things, and, and you got a little extra time to find a better, you know, if you, if you wait for the outcome. I'm not for, for gambling, outcome. Alan. I and don't I'm think sure you should that promote gambling. I don't, I don't think gambling... Don't be such a mamby pamby uh, well, wimp, Mr. Stock. A little gambling, it's a little fun, it's all in fun. And uh, I just know, I'm betting on my, obviously, uh, I'm from Maryland, I'm an Orioles fan, Sugar Ray Leonard is from Maryland. I just know he's going to knock this Hearns out easily by the 10th round, I'm willing to put money on it, I've paid big money, assuming, of course, that nobody has you seen bet? it. You want to bet on the Yeah, spots sure. You, you didn't see it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll take all 10. Yeah, I'll take all 10. Here you go, Alan. Where's the 20? Nobody's cheap here. Everybody else has got Oh, okay. Here we go. I'll bet. Oh, okay. All right. I'll take that bet, Mr. Great. Now, you guys didn't see the fight. Now, you don't know anything about the fight. I want to see the fight. Well, you got her. Sugar Ray's got to knock him out. I think you got to get off easy. I think Hearn's going to win. 
Oh. All right, well, see. Well, we'll see. Alan, we'll you're just causing see. complete chaos. The cameraman has to You guys promised that you haven't heard about the results, though. No. no that wouldn't be no. fair. Okay. All okay, right. can we go on with the show, Alan? I think this is totally oh, trite. It's going to be great. Getting the cameraman involved is just totally going to ask for. Oh, you're trying to sneak it. I was going to ask for odds. I'll cover all these. I got it all down here. I was going to ask for odds, but someone jumped the gun here. So you guys probably forgot that Leonard was a big favorite in that. Can we can we continue, please, Alan, with the purpose of the show? Yeah, sure. I think that joke kind of fizzled, but let's go. Uh, our first guest here is Grant Livingston, and welcome to New Traditions, Grant. Well, glad to be here. Uh, well, are you from Florida? I am. I'm from I'm from Miami, and uh, so are the Orioles part of the year, by the way. So you do That's have a right. local T-shirt there. Ah, yeah, they just yeah. bring training. Absolutely. Good point. Good but point. who are those guys? They're in first place. But who are they? I've never heard of any of them. Well, they're all young kids. I, I know. Uh, I so. watched them play the Yankees the other night. It, they're all like oh. uh, they all look like they're about 18 years old. Do I hear a, a idea for a song stirring in your mind about the Orioles? Yeah. Great yeah, an Orioles song. Fantastic. Uh, I maybe I it's, it's still stirring in the mind though. Hmm? We don't do songs of the mind here, though, so we'll have to do. Oh, you you do write your own songs. I do, I do. That's true. Where do you get most of your ideas? From my mind. It's, it's, oh, it's so that's where I get write it's, songs. It's, from true. Your mind. it's true. It's true. Do you uh, you ever thought you could write songs? When did you start <laughs> writing songs? Um, well, I've been writing songs quite a quite a while now, every ten years. And, uh, oh, really? Okay. Uh, Why did you start? What was the impetus there? Well, let's see. Uh, it was a short ten years, maybe, but uh, <laughs> the uh, well, I guess I, I the first the first song I wrote was uh, was a was a Christmas song that uh, somebody wanted to know why we uh, what we do for Christmas songs in South Florida, so I, I had to oblige and write one. Uh, and since then, it's, I do a lot of songs about South Florida because uh, yeah, this is where I am. Have and you? Uh, <laughs> are there many people who write songs about South Florida? Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of people that write songs about Florida. There's uh, there's a, a pretty large community of, uh, of Florida songwriters. Real, some real good songwriters. Uh, many of them up in the north part of the state. Uh, Frank and Ann Thomas and. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Hicks. Sure, I've heard of them. Like Muddy Waters did going, uh, going to Florida. Yeah. Uh, going back to Miami, the Blues Brothers, one of my favorite. They're one of my favorite folks. <laughs> they're they're kind of, but they're not indigenous. I know. It was Wayne Cochran right, that wrote that, just, not the Blues Brothers. Carpet Daggers. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah. let's, let's listen to some real Florida folk music. Grant, how about a sample? Of your... Okay. I've got a song here, and if uh, you're a betting man, so I bet you've played on the lottery a few times. You actually, never have. Never have? Nope. Then you can't relate to this. <laughs> The Lotto Blues. The Lotto Blues. Each Saturday I get my pay, but I don't put it all away. I go to Publix, stand in line, grab those cards. It's Lotto time. I get my pencil bubble in. It's just like school exams again. But if I get this question right, I'll be a millionaire tonight. When I guess those numbers you see on the news. I'll be rid of the lotto blues. But how do you guess those numbers you see on the news? I'm still stuck with the lotto blues. Flamingo, bingo, that's my lingo. Hope it makes my pockets jingle. Dance and sing most anything. If you just tell me how, now I'll play your age. I'll play mine, I'll play the date. I'll play the time, my hat size, and the price of wheat. I know my life will be complete. When I guess those numbers you see on the news, I'll be rid of the lotto blues. But how do you guess those numbers you see on the news? I'm still stuck with the lotto blues. The lotto blues. The lotto blues. can't forget. I sit down at my TV set because tonight my fortune calls. I gotta watch those ping pong balls. I got one number, I got two. You know just what I'm going through. I got them all, but here's what's hard. They weren't all on the same card. I didn't guess the numbers you see on the news. I'm still stuck with the lotto blues. But how do you guess those numbers you see on the news? I'm still stuck with the lotto blues, the lotto blues, the lotto blues, the lotto blues, the lotto blues. The lotto blues. All right. Very good. Have you ever thought about 
switching the words around so that it'll be a lot more optimistic and then selling it to the Florida Lottery for big bucks? I actually have, I actually have another song like that. <laughs> but uh, not to be boring, I won't do that one today. But, <laughs> but I see you like Well, we wouldn't want you to there. do that be boring. No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the ratings would plummet. <laughs> you, ever, but, you ever have a uh, hard time coming up with ideas that, that are about this area or about Florida? There's, there seems to be lots, of, lots of ideas. It's, uh, it's hard to, you know, find enough time to actually turn them all into songs. Well, well you got to be so pretty creative to come up with the ideas. I, I well, think. thank you, Michael. I <laughs> take that as a compliment. So you, that was an original tune, obviously. And oh, uh, before I forget, you, you have written a lot of songs. And uh, here's, here's a nice little uh, tape that Grant has produced that uh, is available, I guess, to the public, right? It is called Florida Rain. And uh, Grant Livingston, where's where this tape available? It's then? available at the, uh, the South Florida Historical Museum and mm -hmm. also at uh, the Unicorn Bookstore uh -huh. or uh, through my post office box. And how's, how's, hmm. how's it doing? It's doing all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing okay. I've, I've, I'm getting, getting close to breaking even on the initial costs. Uh, well, that's great. I uh, haven't made it yet, but if, uh, if you all send in your checks right now. <laughs> Thanks, all right. Well, we're not. Top. We're not going to give you your address personally, but oh, okay. I think if people want it, they could send into New Traditions and Absolutely. LRN, uh, and we'll send Florida Rain to them. Uh, uh, Can't judge a book by its cover. Now that's an old tune, isn't it? That's uh, well, that's uh, it's uh, there may be a different tune by that oh. name, but uh, that's uh, that's Can't a, an old blues tune. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have? But, uh, well, let's hear it. You want to hear that see, one? Yeah, All right. sure. And we see can, how we can do that. One. See how it stacks that's up relevant. to the old blues standard. This is actually. Um, this is actually sort of a protest song. Oh. And this could. Uh, well, it goes with Mr. Stock's t shirt, so we'll let it go this That's time. a good idea. Yeah. This could, uh, this, this could be a Florida song, but it could happen anywhere, and it is happening here. Hmm. One Tuesday morning, I went for an interview, dressed in my best pinstripe suit. Practiced my buzzwords, wore my yellow tie with an air of bravado and fire in my eye. My credentials were impeccable, my resume typeset and neat. With my own personal logo designed to impress any mogul on Wall Street, I met the big man and things went great. I had the job for sure. But then, don't you know, when I got up to go, he said, son, there's one thing more. You can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a man by his face. What's important is what's deep down inside. Can you prove that there isn't a trace, not a trace that would indicate to the world the kind of person you are? Now you've proved to me, son, you can fill the pill. Now please, won't you fill up this jar? <laughs> now that Tuesday afternoon, I left from the interview. It hadn't gone quite like I planned. An hour ago, the world was at my feet. Now I'm back in the street with a jar in my hand. My credentials were impeccable, credentials that no one could match. I still had to be back in the morning at a quarter to nine with my first morning's catch. I could not sleep all through the night. The words the big man said kept troubling my mind. I'd try to sleep and find them running through my head. You can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a man by his face. Oh, it's important is what's deep down inside. Can you prove that there isn't a trace, not a trace that would indicate to the world the kind of person you are? Now you've proved to me, son, you can fill the bill. Now please, won't you fill up this jar? Now I woke up in the morning by the dawn's early light. I said, isn't this the land of the free? And the home of the brave, where old glory waves from sea to shining sea. So filled with patriotism, the blue and the white and the red. I marched myself back to that interview, and this is what I said. I don't judge a book by its cover, or judge an air one by their face, or their recreational habits. 
color or race, for those things do not indicate to the world the kind of person you are. Now I hope you concur when respectfully, sir, I refuse to fill up this jar. Now that Wednesday morning, I didn't get the job, and though it might seem to be strange, that fateful day when I was turned away was only the beginning. My luck was to change, cause only one place would have me. And I thank my lucky stars for what wasn't part of the audition to sing here in this bar. So if you find you're in this situation, just take my advice without fear. Stand up for your rights and your freedom. And maybe you'll change your career, your career when you indicate to the world the kind of person you are. Stand firm in your place, look them straight in the face, and refuse to fill up that jar. When they say that you can't judge a book by its cover, you can't judge a man by his face. What's important is what's deep down inside. Can you prove that there isn't a trace, not a trace that would indicate to the world the kind of person you are? Stand firm in your place, look them straight in the face, and refuse to fill up that jar. Wow, hey, that's great. Definitely not the, the one that I heard by Sonny Boy Williamson, though. But it no, is. it's just an ad adaptation, though. <laughs> original song, I, I can see it swipe verses. a little bit. No. Yeah. <laughs> an original song by Grant Livingston available on his cassette, Florida Rain. Thank you very much, Grant Livingston. Well, thank you. Uh, an example of some of the great talent we have here living in South Florida. Another another person. And I've, I've worked with Grant, as a matter of fact. We uh, we had a gig together. It's true. Yes, we did. Who cares, Alan? <laughs> what I want to do now is introduce our next guest, Denise yeah, it was London. Kind of an interesting story. All right, I'll wait. More okay, it's, uh, all those questions you were asking him. Can it's you make it fast? Little, I think you might have a funny little anecdote to say. Talk, talk oh, about yes. it. I was playing Christopher Columbus. That's right. Was being sent around the world for. Uh, because uh, I was dallying with Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand said, uh, Christopher, you better... Well, thank you. you and, and, and we did the Around the, the, around the World Blues. blues. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another example of the great talent we have, <laughs> Grant Livingston. Uh, Denise, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, like I said before, I don't know that much about you. I've never heard you play. Are you currently... Do you write songs yourself? Yes, I do. I, I've been writing since I was 14. Oh. Cool. And... Uh, Okay. Are you from this South Florida? I was born here in Miami. All, lived here all my life. Yeah. When, how come you? <laughs> what What inspired you to start writing? Uh, actually, it was a history teacher that I had <laughs> uh -huh. back in high school. I sort of liked him a lot, and I wrote my first song, and I dedicated it to him. Oh, the old schoolgirl yeah. crush. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Did you still see him at all? Or um, no, I haven't seen him in, in some time. It's kind of private, isn't it? No. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. You so wrote, you wrote the song, uh, and what kind of response did you get? Oh, well, uh, not much response from him, but everybody liked the song so much, I, I continued writing, and that's what I've been doing. Everybody <laughs> liked it but him, huh? One guy you wanted to impress. What a hero. Well, he liked it too, but, you know. What kind of song was it? Well, it was a love song, basically. Uh, and uh, one of the songs uh, I'm going to do tonight is, is that one. Also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Well, that's, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's, let's go into that. That one. sounds yeah, like a great a introduction good for you. All right, here we go. <laughs> The sun has left the sky and everything looks blue. I like to sit by my radio and just think about you. I'll never forget the things you said, the way in which you smiled. I don't know if I'll see you again. To you, I'm just a child thinking about you. Feel the 
I just want you to understand the way I feel inside. I never thought I'd tell you this, but I just can't go on. Not knowing whether or not tomorrow you'll be gone. Thinking about you every night. You never leave my mind. Thinking about you every day, please. I can see why he didn't get much of a response, however. I can imagine for a history teacher coming from a 14-year-old girl in his class, it might be well, a little embarrassing. We don't have to dwell on it. <laughs> it took some guts to sing that. that that's, that's, a, that's a lot of feelings in there. How, how did you, was it difficult for you to sing? Uh, no, I've been singing for a long time. Sing, started singing when I was three. My mom was an entertainer, uh -huh. and, and I would, she would take me along with her, and I would just join in, you know. <laughs> are all your songs from such a personal level? Not all of them. Most of them are, though. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, what, uh, have you, what kind of response have you been getting? Have you, do you play around often? Yes, I do. I play um, in Coconut Grove at my bread station. Uh -huh. And um, I'm going to be playing Shag Nasty's and uh, Adrian Hotel. Um, and I've, I'm really surprised at the response. I never, you know, really thought people would like my music as much as they have been liking it. And uh, I'm just going to keep try to keep going you know do you want to become a professional musician or are you are you I am right now professional you do that full-time well that's that's a lot of hard work <laughs> Denise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm getting there <laughs> a very nice first song uh, my, my first song first song I ever wrote was very personal too Mr. Stock it was uh, about a lawnmower it goes out of control and <laughs> wreaks havoc on the city streets I was well, who cares was cutting the lawn at the time and I was getting pretty disgusted <laughs> Well, Alan, tough lawn to cut. Lots well, of thank you, thank you, Alan. That sounds yeah. for you. That sounds like a very personal song. I guess, <laughs> that's why I guess I never heard it. <laughs> the Ballad of the Mad Mark. Hmm? I guess I never heard mm. it that way. Mm. Uh, well, that was great. And uh, are you always writing songs? You pretty much. Do you do when you perform at the Bread Station or other places? Do you do all original songs? You do other people's? I do a few a few covers, yeah. but I do mostly original songs. Who's your favorite? Um, Ann Wilson and Nancy Wilson from Heart. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, Dog and Butterfly. Do you always been solo, or have you been been with a band? Uh, I used to play with, in in a band some time ago. It was a, like a church band, church group. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now I'm playing with another guitarist. We play together. Okay. And we understand that you're a veteran also of television. This is not your first <laughs> time on television. This and, is true. <laughs> and uh, perhaps you'd like to talk a little bit about your first experience yes, uh, or your other experiences. Um, say, I was on the uh, Skipper Chuck show. I sang Ooh, on the Skipper Chuck, Chuck show. Yeah. Skipper Chuck. <laughs> and uh, it came out. Uh, it came out that Mr. Stock was on the Skipper <laughs> Chuck show. I, I was on. Did you guys by know each other? When you were, uh, no. no. I never sang though. You sang on the Skipper. I Chuck. sang on the Skipper Chuck that's show. That's great. Yeah. Were you nervous mm -hmm. then? Uh, no. Really. That's great. <laughs> Oh. I'll tell you what, let's, let's hear another song. All right, great. This one's, um, this one's called Until the End of Time.
I can see my face in your eyes. I can see you glow. And I know the time is right like never before. Oh, oh, oh. Every time I close my eyes, I see your face so close to mine. And I know that we will be in love until the end. London, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing your music with us Thank on today's you. show. Pretty good pick, huh, Mr. Stock? Wonderful. <laughs> good, good. I congratulate you, Alan. Thank Gee, you very much. have more guests on Enough time show. to say goodbye. Thank you for tuning in to New Traditions, featuring talent, original talent, who sings, who write original songs here on who live in South Florida. And uh, remind you that New Traditions can be seen on this channel, Educational Channel 2, every Monday at 2.30, every Tuesday at 10.30 in the morning, and every Thursday night at 10 o'clock at night. So tell your friends, send in t-shirts so we could wear t-shirts on the show. And thanks again, Grant Livingston and Denise London. How about Grant, take a little song to take us out, okay? Oh, wait, wait, Mr. Stock, let us not forget. This is a special month. We got a hey guys, we gotta go. We got uh, a month special we here. Go. Gonna All give right, away. Well, we'll roll the credits, and we we give just want to give you a little a something to give away to our guests. <laughs> Mangoes that have been in their fridge just a little bit too long. They're a little soft and brown in spots, but don't worry, they're still sweet and delicious. Here's one Thank for you. you. Oh, Grant, I'll hold we'll yours hold. until that. Prize mangoes. And you, I have extras if you want more than one. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Stream blue, wish that I had seen those rapids and heard the sound.